Yeah, what's up? My name is Lucas Dabari, and I'm here with the new K2 Joy Driver. It started about almost a year ago, um, emailing with Doug, the lead designer here at K2. Come spring, myself and team rider Kale Martin went out and did a bunch of blind tests. And it was really cool that day because uh, there was one snowboard where when Doug asked, what would you like the best? Kale and I were both pointed right to essentially this snowboard. And then just today we came into the office and built up the first production board of the line. I grew up uh, riding cambered snowboards and so for me it was really important to have uh, regular camber be the primary aspect of the profile. You know, through testing out different reverse camber boards, there is a little bit of early rise reverse camber in the nose and half of that in the tail. So if you put it down on a table, it looks like a general normal cambered snowboard. But once in you engage that flex, your nose will pop. It allows you to be a little farther forward in powder. You can kind of have a little more of a freestyle approach to shred and pow, which uh, I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into you know, the functional aspects of the snowboard, the camber profile, the side cut, things like that. But then when it came time for a graphic, I can barely draw stick figures. So uh, team rider Danny Larson got involved. You know, me and him just kind of collaborated on ideas and concepts and talked about the things I was into, what I like to see in a snowboard. And Danny just drew up this beautiful uh, sketch of these trees kind of morphing into the mountains with a nice peak on the top of the board. And, it's amazing to be able to have someone like Danny on the team who is a professional snowboarder and then to have me and him collaborate to create this joy driver was a really cool experience and I'm a big fan of his artwork. Overall, this is a pretty universal snowboard. I definitely, you know, I'd ride it through the park at Snoqualmie, I'd ride pillows at Baker with it, and I'd go ride spines in Alaska. Um, I think it'd be really valuable for a lot of those kids that have a strong freestyle background but want to get into more backcountry. It's going to be comfortable for them spinning around doing tricks, but at the same time, you're going to be able to go hit a 30 foot cliff and still have that solid stomping platform that you need in the backcountry. So, um, all in all, I'd say it's going to be an awesome freestyle backcountry snowboard. We'll